My name is Joshua Four. I'm the author of Moonwalking with Einstein. So there's this rather bizarre competition held every year called the United States Memory Championship, uh, in which people get together and compete to see who can remember the most uh, names of strangers, most lines of poetry, the most random numbers. And I went to this contest as a science journalist, expecting to cover the Super Bowl of savants. But what I found as I talked to the people who were competing was something rather different. What they told me was that they had trained their memories to do these things using ancient techniques and that anybody could do it. I was like, anybody? What about, like, could I? And uh, a guy named Ed Cook, who has one of the best memories in the world, took me under his wings and taught me everything he knew. And I spent a, about a year training my memory, but also trying to understand it, uh, how it works, uh, why we sometimes forget where uh, the limits of our memory lay. I, I met amnesiacs who could remember almost nothing. I met savants who could memorize thousands of books. And what I discovered was something really remarkable, which is that the capacity of our minds is actually much greater than we give them credit for. Today, you know, we have cell phones and computers and uh, books that hold our memories so that we don't have to. It's sort of outsourced our memories, this most essential thing at the root of who we are. I mean, we're nothing more and nothing less than the things that we remember. Yet, today, it's almost as though we've forgotten how to remember. A year after attending that contest as a science journalist, I actually went back, this time to compete, sort of as like a exercise in participatory journalism. Uh, the thing is, I won, which wasn't really supposed to happen. Moonwalking with Einstein tells the kind of strange story of how that happens. It's about the science of memory. It's about the history of memory. It's about a kind of quirky subculture of people who compete in these memory contests. But mostly, it's about discovering the potential in all of our brains. Moonwalking with Einstein is actually a reference to a memory device that I used when I was training my memory. All of these memory devices ultimately go back to ancient Greece. These are the same techniques that Cicero would use to memorize his speeches, that medieval scholars would use to memorize entire books. Uh, they all more or less revolve around a, an idea known as the memory palace, which is that you can take the things that you're probably not so good at remembering, and by putting them in an imagined space in your mind, make them more memorable. It doesn't sound like it would work, but it's actually surprisingly effective. Imagine for a second visiting the home of a friend that you've never been to before. If you spent just a couple minutes walking around that house, you actually have a pretty good map in your mind of the layout of that house. We're just really good at picking up that kind of information and remembering it. So the point of the memory palace is to take things that you're not good at remembering and juxtapose them onto a space which, which we're good at remembering. So that the next time you then visit that space, you see the images of the things that you were meant to remember.